and chef Jose Andres's World Central Kitchen has been working around the clock feeding thousands of Bahamians. In just over a week, they've served more than 100,000 meals, and today another shipment of supplies was loaded onto a yacht. CBS 4 Seth Scout is live for us in Fort Lauderdale with the very latest on the effort. Ted? Elliot and Francis, this is kind of like a replenishment mission. Everything going on to the yacht ride here onto that vessel will restock the pantry for the World Central Kitchen. The yacht is compl not completely filled up yet, but you can kind of see on the bottom there on the lower level, that's where all the food is being stored uh, for shipment. On the upper level there, that's where all the water is. You can see a big tank there. That's a 1,500-gallon water tank that's going over there. Initially, they were trying to leave by around 7 o'clock tonight. That's been pushed back now until midnight. It's a day-long job loading up the Mega Yacht Global. It's carrying food, water, and supplies to Chef Jose Andres in Freeport and his World Central Kitchen organization. We're going to be putting on this vessel uh, another 100-plus ton of food. We've got uh, over uh, 100 pallets of uh, food product and paper product coming on so that we can uh, get protein and vegetable uh, into the field. The World Central Kitchen has already served tens of thousands of meals to those in Grand Bahama and Abaco. South Florida first responders helped deliver them after picking them up from Central Kitchens. Now they're trying to make meals on site. We're going to do pop-up kitchens uh, that will be using paella pans. So a lot of everything we're using here is so we can get out and rapidly feed people. It's a lot of hard work though today. It's not hard. It's not hard when you're helping people. Captain Johnny Robinson from Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue volunteered to help load the yacht on his day off. He was joined by fellow firefighters and Fort Lauderdale police officers who answered the call. It's what we sign up for. Um, ultimately, when you do things that it, other people can benefit from, it's, it, it's a good feeling. It's a good warm feeling. It's the human, the human nature inside us that, uh, that we connect to. When I heard that our first responders were volunteering on their day off, how, how could I not? Christina Clifford answered that call for help, too. She and the others are giving it their all. Loading the contents of eight semi-trailers onto the ship. We've launched a lot of food onto this boat, a lot of um, supplies, forks, paper goods, all the things that you kind of take for granted, um, especially under circumstances like this. With everything packed and loaded, the folks at the World Central Kitchen are feeling grateful that they can continue to serve those who need their help the most. Thanks, Florida. Thank you. So still loading items onto the yacht right now. The original departure time was supposed to be about 7 o'clock this evening. That has now been pushed back to around midnight. The original plan was to get into Freeport by about 9 in the morning. That will likely now be pushed back because of the late departure. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Okay, Ted, thanks a lot.